Hey guys, we're here with head ice maker Sean Olison. Yeah, good Hi, to be Sean. here. Thank you. I'm the head ice technician for USA Curling. Um, I come here with a group of people ahead of time and we prepare all the arenas or uh, facilities that we play in so we can have the championship ice for all of our competitions. Um, we take care of every competition in the U.S. since a national championship or leads to world competition. Uh, so how did you get into this and how long have you been doing this? So I started out in my home club, uh, became a player and uh, a member, and wanted to help. So I helped with the ice there, and we got interested in it. Wanted to get better, so we went to a few uh, competitions to help, and pick up some tips, and learn. I uh, kind of caught the bug there, and liked to come and be part of these, and just stuck with it, so, and it's come to this. So, what is the process of getting this beautiful ice uh, ready before and after the competition? So, like when we get here, um, it's just a hockey rink. They were using it for skating. So, we'll paint white paint over top of it, and then we'll play on all the circles and lines that you see. We put the white foam around the rinks, and uh, the carpet in between there, and we flood, and then we start scraping just like you would in a club, and we just uh, prepare the ice for each game and make sure each game is as perfect as can be so the teams can choose any shot they'd like to and uh, play good games for us to watch and decide a good champion. So what is good ice? Kind of the specifications we shoot for is um, you know the, the quick easy answer is about four to five feet of curl in 24 to 25 seconds for drop times. And that'll equate to a lot of people now use the hog to hog times, you know, 14 and a half, 15 second draw times there. So, um, how do you make good ice? Um, so, we start with, with good, good clean water. Um, you see, we've got our equipment here to filter the water. It's a reverse osmosis system finished with de ionizing tanks. And then, uh, so that's the main thing because the rocks ride on that clean pebble. And we try and manage the air in the building as best we can. Uh, we don't want too much air movement and we want to keep it the right temperature as much as we can in humidity. Uh, keep the dew point down so we don't have frost on the ice. And then uh, manage the ice plant so the ice stays the correct temperature. So there's a lot of details we try and pushed together into one perfect spot. It's kind of tough to manage all that sometimes, but when it works well, it it's, uh, puts on a pretty good show. What we aim for kind of varies depending on where we're at and the conditions, but it's usually we say about 23 degrees for the surface temperature. And we you know, like to do 40 degrees or so air, but obviously in a place, in an arena like this, it's not like the curling club where you can have it cold. Uh, we need to keep it a little warmer so uh, fans and players can be more comfortable. So it's about 55 in here. And it's, you know, it just changes a little bit, but it's not bad. So the pebble is, is what the rocks ride on. We've got a bunch of different, different heads. You'll see us walking backwards with the backpack, but it, all the pebble heads just have different size holes in them. And for the conditions that we see, we just kind of do some experimenting beforehand, decide which which size of drops on the ice provide the most consistent speed and curl through a game so the players can have the best possible outcomes. Thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you. Appreciate it.